This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another instant deck tech. So last week, we had another All War of the Spark Against the Odds poll, and in the end, it was our new Niv, Niv Mizzet Reborn that came out on top. So today, we are heading back to War of the Spark standard for, I don't even know the name of this deck, five color Niv control. I'm just calling it Niv Mizzet Reborn because that's what this deck is all about. Basically, trying to see how many cards we can draw with Niv Mizzet, maybe stop our opponent from killing us long enough to kill our opponent with our massive dragon. So that is the plan for today. So gonna do a quick deck tech, kind of going over what we're trying to do. Really though, uh, the main theme of this deck is it's a control deck. We have discard, we have removal, we have a few counters, more of a tap out control deck really not really doing the counter spell draw go plan uh, with some massive finishers on the top end of our curve so we're not going to go really in depth about every single card instead talk about kind of the challenge of building the niv deck and trying to take advantage of its ability so before we do a super quick reminder if you enjoy against the odds and the other videos here on the channel it would be super cool of you if you could take a second click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen we're almost to 200 000 subs would be really cool to get there so uh, if you haven't, that would be super sweet. Anyway, uh, let's talk Nib is it Reborn for War of the Spark standard. So our namesake card, Nib is it Reborn, five color, six, six flyer, enters the battlefield, you get to reveal your top 10 cards and you grab a card for each color pair. Basically, the guilds. Uh, so you get a Golgari card, a Demir card, a Is it card, uh, one each of the guilds. So in theory, if your deck has every two color pair in it and you get really lucky, you could cast a Niv Mizzet, have it come into play and draw 10 cards. That would be amazing. It's more likely we get a couple cards, up to five cards, six cards, maybe if we're lucky. But really, our deck is built to try to make that ability as powerful as possible. So our deck has cards of every guild, lots of weird one-ofs to try to make this work because we want Niv to come down and essentially just refill our hand with really powerful spells. So the deck is a little bit wonky. We have, along with Niv, three other four ofs, and then every single card in the rest of the deck is a singleton. So Chromatic Lantern, four of, helps us cast our stuff. The challenge of Niv, well, another challenge of Niv, I guess, is uh, it is all five colors, and our spells are all five colors. So to make that mana work, Chromatic Lantern, really key, letting our lands tap for any color. Grow Spiral, our second non-Niv four of, which essentially just ramps us into our Niv a little bit quicker, also draws us a card. And then Thought Eraser, our last four of, attacks our opponent's hand, filters our draws a little bit, makes sure that our Niv is actually gonna resolve, keeps us alive. So that is kind of the core of the deck. The rest of the deck, basically removal and finishers, but the key thing is, they are split across all 10 guilds. Every card for the rest of this deck is a singleton. It is a two color pair. Uh, so the idea is this will allow us to draw as many cards as possible with our Nim Mizzet Reborn. So we're gonna run through these super quick from the Simic Guild, along with Grow Spiral. We got a Hydroid Crossus and a Tamio Collector of Tales. From Demir, we have Hostage Taker for removal. Knife Concoct, mostly to reanimate Nibs if they die. Enter the God Eternal, removal, life gain against aggro. From Is It? a niv mizzet Perun, a good finisher at the top of our curve along with expansion explosion rakdos gives us bedevilent angress some creature slash planeswalker removal then azurius gives us teferi time raveler really good against control fine against aggro a dovin's veto a time wipe is a sweeper that can also bounce our niv to hand golgari provides veraska relic seeker another finisher along with assassin's trophy and then we have one each from gruel and ravager worm another finisher slash removal spell knight of autumn from selesnia to gain us a bit of life primarily, but also blow up things like Wilderness Reclamation, Experimental Frenzy, whatever, Treasure Map. Boros for Justice Strike, another removal spell, and Orzov gives us Mortify to get rid of a creature enchantment. Mana base-wise, the key cards here are Gateway Plaza and Ruptured Spire. They are really slow. They can be very clunky because not only do they come into play tapped, but they force us to tap another land to pay for them, so kind of double tap lands, but the cost is kind of worth it in this deck because our mana costs are just so insane so a bunch of double tap lands the rest of the mana base we have some of each shock land not going to show them all a couple of basic lands in case we get field of ruined sideboard we mostly go with the same plan of multicolor cards we do have 
two Sorcerer Spyglass to shut down things like uh, Teferi, mostly. And then we have four control matchups. Mordovan Vetoes, Assassin's Trophy to kill Planeswalkers, Unmored Ego to get rid of, like, Nexus of Fate, Teferis, one Teferi of our own because it's a really powerful card. And then for Aggro, Knight of Autumn for more life gain, Beacon Bolt, Enter the God Eternal's removal, Kaya's Wrath for additional sweepers, and that is... Niv is at Reboard for War of the Spark Standard. Five color Niv. Let's see how many cards we can draw with Niv is at Reboard control. And this should be an interesting one. So I think this deck is sweet. I'm really excited to play this deck. It's a little bit wonky, but there's a lot of interchangeable effects. Like really, Assassin's Trophy, Angrass Rampage, Mortify, uh, cards like that. They're all different, technically, but really, they're all removal spells. So while most decks, you're probably playing, whatever, four Mortifies, because of Niv, we split those effects up over a whole bunch of different colors to power up our main ability. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works. Mana Beast is risky. Maybe we get run over against Aggro. I don't know, but it should be pretty fun. We should be doing crazy things, casting big, powerful, splashy spells. So anyway, let's get to the gameplay. See how Niv is it reboard works in War of the Spark Standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. All right, against the odds time, we are playing <laughs> five color Niv is it reborn. Uh, I don't even know. Five color stuff control. Five color something. Well. Let's start playing our tap lands. Pass the dirt. All right, opponent looks like they're on blue-white control. There's an Isconta. Well, Gateway Plaza. Opponent keeps it on top. Plays a land untapped. And little to fairy. All right. Yeah. Well, let's Thought Erasure. Take a absorb. Eh, all right. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep little to fairy. It's not a land, but we can bounce this as Kanta and shut down future counter spells for the time being. Opponents two wraths are not great. Our deck is not a creature every deck. Mills and Narset. Land untapped. Ticks up. Opponent passes. Well, yeah. I mean to fairy. We do really need to hit a land off this, though, or we're going to have issues. Opponent, Chemister's Insight draws cards. If they hit big to Teferi also, we're kind of kind of done for. All right, that's a land. Play the land tap, pass the turn. We're getting there. Come on, no big to Teferi. We don't actually have an answer to a Planeswalker in hand at the moment. Untap land. Prison Realm is much better than big to Teferi. We are actually kind of okay with that, especially since we can mortify it if we want to. We're hoping to just draw a land, though. As Kanta returns, we draw opponent takes up. Yep. Well, I guess we just play Chromatic Lantern, Thought Erasure, our opponent. Take. Uh, seal away, I guess. Mill Niv number two. Pass the turn. Well, here comes his Kanta. Leaves it on top. Please, not big to fairy. Land. Opponent bounces. Chromatic lander and draws a card. There's big to fairy. All right. Sure. And we will scoop it up. And yeah, Big Teferi's annoying. Thankfully, we have Unmoored Ego, Dovin's Veto, our own Big Teferi, uh, Assassin's Trophy, maybe Sorceress Spyglass. Go down, Justice Strike. Go down, well, Knight of Autumn actually does do things. Go down, Mortify. Go down, Oath of Kaya. Go down, Hostage Taker. Go down, Time Wipe. Go down, connive, concoct. Go down, ravager worm. Oh my god, what else can we cut? Good, 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 needed, good, 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 
Good, good. I guess we can go down and enter the God Eternals? And maybe we go one Spyglass. Let's... Uh... Alright, try it like that. We got off to a bit of a slow start land-wise. And our opponent had Baked Fairy. Hmm, okay. I mean, Delvin's Veto is pretty good against our opponent's deck. And we are working towards this Niv. Although, it is counterable, unfortunately. Steam Van stepped. Island for our opponent. Well, Ruptured Spire. Pass the dirt. Well, our main goal is to resolve this Niv. Land tap, pass the turn. If we can resolve Niv, we get to draw a lot of cards. Opponent, passing. Well, let's grow Spiral. Oh boy. Come on, land. Steam vents. Blue, black. All right, uh, we will do this. Let's... Unmore do you go. Hey, right. opponent's got the veto. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Well, let's thought erasure. Ooh, two commence to end games. Syncopate prison realm. Well, take the syncopate. Keep the land. I think we're actually gonna counter this chemist's insight. It's a greedy line, but it maximizes our odds of resolving this Niv. Which is, that is what this whole game is about, opponent. That means I only get one look at a counter, and it's not a counter, it's a land. So Niv is coming down. All right, Niv. And let's see how many cards we draw with our Dragon Avatar. Yeah, Chemistry's Insight, discards land, draws two cards, sure. We draw. All right. So, Demir, Azorius, it and Simic. All right, four. That's not bad. Yeah, we will take four very good cards for this matchup. Play Stomping Grounds. And that's a power Niv in this deck. Those four cards are insane. Those cards are great. Opponent plays a land. Prison Realm to get rid of our Niv. That's fine. Actually, that's great, because this means we can just to fairy bounce it, get back Niv if we want to. Opponent scries to the bottom. As Kanta, okay. Oh, big to fairy. Well, let's play little to fairy. This isn't a fight you can win. Bounce prison realm. Like get back Niv. Draw land. Oh my god! Golgari, Azorius, Racto, Simic. Yeah, we'll take four more. Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Thought Erasure, our opponent. Take Kefnat. Keep the land. Grow Spiral. Put the land into play, tapped. Discard. Basically trying to minimize the number of cards we have to discard. This hand is so stacked. I don't even know what to discard. I guess Crosses? I don't even think we need Crosses here. We have... This hand is insane against control. How does... How does Blue White beat this hand? <laughs> that is the power of Niv. We just get so many insane cards. Our opponent might be to the scooping it up part of the game. It's just like absolutely ridiculous how insane <laughs> these cards are. So far, we've drawn four both times from Niv Mizzet. <laughs> oh, not only four, but they're four insane cards. Ooh, all right. Pony, it's a big Teferi, which is decent. We need to move quickly. The problem for our opponent is we do just get to kill it. So it's just cycling. So we untap. Watery Grave untapped. Take up Teferi. Here we go. Niv, kill to fairy. Um, let's play big to fairy. Tuck as Kanta. And pass the turn. And opponent done. Nived him. We nived him. We nived him. 
That was what the Zeg wants to be doing. If we could keep the Teferis in check, they even countered our Unmored Ego, which would have just locked them out. That was good. That was very good. Ugh, I really want the second Spyglass. <laughs> this deck's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I mean, so far, we've resolved Niv twice, and we've drawn four both times, which... That's pretty insane. A 6-6 six, six flyer for 5 that draws 4 when it enters the battlefield is ridiculous. And it's not even drawing lands. It's drawing 4 action spells. So it's actually worth more than just randomly drawing because we're actually getting useful cards every time. Um, hmm. Knight of Autumn actually seems really good. But all of our deck seems really good. Which is making this way harder than I want it to be. Maybe we go down for Raska. I guess we should be able to finish the game without it. Yeah, let's go Let's go to Night of Autumn. Let's try it like that. And we are going to be on the draw. And there are risks that our mana doesn't go smoothly. That is one of the drawbacks of this deck. Uh, wow. Okay. This hand looks great. <laughs> we can actually cast... We have a million things we could cast. This is this is about what we want. Answer, 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 answer. We'll find Niv eventually. Seems like a plan. Opponent plays the planes. Well, Steam Van stepped. And we can afford to play lands on tap because our opponent can't really punish us much. Um, land and Thought Erasure. Opponent has a counter. Yep. Land for our opponent. Passes. Well, breeding pool tapped. Pass the turn. Ooh, blast zone. All right. Opponent passing. Well, let's ruptured spire. Pass the turn. Is it time to take up the blast zone? We're gonna try to get up to Niv, to a Niv amount of counters. <laughs> Narsa. Well, we will counter that. Uh, ruptured spire. Well, let's unmoored ego. To fairy hero of dominaria for sure. One in hand. Three in the library. Get rid of them all. You just let me know if you're up for round two. And then let's ruptured spire. And that makes our life way easier to know that we do not have to deal with Big Teferi. And our opponent's hand, it's its more annoying than good. It can deal with some stuff, but it should have a hard time actually killing us. Wow. Drawing all of our Planeswalker hate. Well, let's play Teferi. Syncopate. Do we care? I don't think we do. Let's... Yeah, let's get this to resolve. Counter syncopate. Get it to fairy. Draw a card. Yeah, yeah, I can't play that. Pass the turn. Opponent, Prison Realms. Yeah, gets to scry, gets rid of our Teferi temporarily to the top. This is hardly my worst defeat. Opponent. Passing. Well, I think we Sorceress Spyglass. On Blast Zone. Assassin's Trophy, the Prison Realm. Get back to fairy. Also force our opponent to shuffle whatever they put on top. All right, they get a land. Uh, take down to fairy. Draw a card. Let's try this. Gateway Plaza, go. Well, we are going to need a Niv to refuel. That's what we want the most here is just to find a Niv and resolve it. All right, opponent finds a little to fairy. Well, now we probably got to kill that if we don't draw anything. Bounces Spyglass. Draws a card. Plays a land. Prison Realm. Yep. Snags our Teferi. To the bottom. 
Only time will tell. Well, let's see what we draw. Land. Hmm. Well, let's sorcerer spyglass. On to very time raveler. Play a tap land. Pass the turn. Alright, opponent kills the spyglass. Takes up to fairy. This might be a bad idea. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a good one. Well, let's... Okay, so now we have a plan. Which is... Blow up prison realm. Opponent has a counter. That's fine. Niv. Hope for some hits. How many do we draw this time? Okay, uh, so we will take Simic, Demir, Azurius, and Rakdos. Seems fine. Seems fine in this control matchup. Play the land, pass the turn. Can you beat this hand opponent? <laughs> Niv is absurd! It is absurd! <laughs> Oh god, it's good. It is so good. Found it. Sure. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Takes up to fairy. Now what, opponent? What's your plan? Land untapped. Commence the end game draws two. Sure. Gets a 2-2. Two -two. Well, go to combat. Kill to fairy. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Um Unmoored Ego. Hmm. Okay. Play a land. Pass the turn. I mean, I feel like we're in great shape. Especially, Big Teferi's gone. That is not a concern. Little Teferi bouncing Niv. Yes, please. <laughs> we would love that. Oh, Niv has been insane. It's so good. Vote it. I'm going to get in for two? <laughs> I mean, I guess they could blast zone Niv eventually. Actually, next turn, if they put all their mana into it. Gets in, yeah. Sure. We'll take it. Down to 16. Prison Realm. Um, I don't think we actually care about that. Sure. That's fine. We can kill it eventually, or we'll just draw another, another Niv. It's legendary anyway. Like, Knight of Autumn, blow up Prison Realm, bounce Prison Realm, get back Niv. Oh, man, that would be beautiful. Sure. Opponent passes. Thought Erasure. Well, let's just cross this. With no big Teferis, not super worried about whatever this last card is. Blastone can kill crosses here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, we found our Nivs. Pass the turn. Yeah, opponent takes down crosses. That's fine. I mean, we're so far ahead in cards. It's really ridiculous. Little Teferi. Let's slow this down. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Takes up. As Kanta. As Kanta is a little bit annoying, and it's gonna flip. So, I think we play Chromatic Lantern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play Chromatic Lantern. Bedevil to Fairy. And now we just pass. Leave up Dovin's Veto. Next turn, we get to Niv again and not just discard everything to hand size. Opponent flips. Draws a card. Gets in for two. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently five-color Niv control beats normal control. Let's play a Niv. Commence the endgame. Sure. You do that, opponent. Niv, so we get Wow. Selesnia Demir 
Azurius, and Simic. So, another draw four. Thought erase our opponent. Take Kefnat. That's a good one. Keep Big Teferi. Untap Land. Knight of Autumn. Blow up our Teferi Prison Realm. Bounce the Zombie. Draw a card. And, uh, yeah. We'll just pass. Leave up our, our veto. And, uh, good. I think that's a good game. We have just, I mean, we lost game one, but ever since losing game one, we have just absolutely dominated blue white control here. Play a land, take up to fairy. <laughs> Going to activate your Iskanta. Search for Iskanta. Opponent gets a chemist's insight. Well, we go to combat. Attack, hit our opponent. One, two. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he can't quite win with expansion explosion. So let's just Tamio. Take down Tamio. Sorceress Byglass. Sorceress Byglass. On his Kanta. Um. Yeah, sure. Thought Erasure. Take Chemistry's Insight. Grow Spiral. Yeah, I guess we'll mill it. Doesn't really matter. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's play Big Teferi. Sure. Big Teferi. Draw with Big Teferi. Hold that thought. Untap a couple lads. And, alright. What do you say, opponent? <laughs> Five Color Div is picking this deck apart. Picking it apart! Yeah, Mr. Yeah, you can draw a couple. <laughs> sure. And that is the GG's. And after a slow start in game one, five color Niv just crushed, crushed to fairy in blue white control. Absolutely piled it on. Uh, okay. That was good. That was very impressive after the game one. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing some Niv. Five-color Niv in standard. And our mana's a little questionable here, but we will uh, give this a shot. Oh, boy. Blue mana's helpful. All right. Well, land go. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, we have things that are good against red. We'll see if we find them. Opponent gets in with Lava Runner. Lights up the stage for a land and a fanatical firebrand. Plays fanatical firebrand. Passes. Well, play an island. Hmm. Yeah, let's pass the turn. Opponent, untap straws. Land. Combat. Gets in for two. We take it. Down to 17. Lava runner, number two. Now, let's grow Spiral. Ugh. Land into play tapped. Untap. Dovin's Veto. I'll play Chromatic Lantern. Gateway Plaza. Pay for it. Pass the turn. See what happens. Not great. Not a great scenario for us. A lot of early pressure. Opponent. Gonna need to find a Wrath, probably. Opponent goes combat. Attacks. Down to 14. Ooh, plays a Chandra, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. So play Hostage Taker. Take a Lava Runner. Play Lava Runner. Play a Tapland. Pass the turn. Hope for no disasters. Takes up Shadra, hits a mountain. Okay, could be worse. Plays a mountain. Kills Hostage Taker. Fanatical Firebrand. Down to one card in hand. Opponent attacks. 
All right, we'll take it. Down to 12. Opponent passes. Well, play the land. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. So, Angrass Rampage. Get rid of the Planeswalker. Teferi. Tick up to fairy. Pass the turn. And we will just draw step a thought erasure. Wow, okay, gonna kill the lava runner. That's pretty fine. Lava runner, lava runner, sure. Opponent draws. We thought erasure. Take Chandra. Get rid of the land. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We got a shot. We need something. We need a creature. Opponent. Hits our face. Down to ten. We untap. It's a land. Well, bounce lava runner. Might be a bad idea. That's a niv. That's what we wanted. Play the niv. How many do we hit? Thought Erasure, Night of Autumn, Grow Spiral. That works. That should be game winning, actually. Uh, Thought Erasure, you. Niv coming through against Red. Uh, Surveil away. Actually, let's keep Assassin's Trophy. Assassin's Trophy, the one way I see us losing from here is Experimental Frenzy. And Assassin's Trophy gives us an extra answer to that. Opponent. Opponent's getting nived. Lightning Strike, take down Teferi, that is fine. But we got a Niv. Pona scoops it up, cannot beat the Niv. Whoa, 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 whoa. If we can beat aggro and we can beat control, uh, maybe this deck's just good. So I think we want more Dovin's Vetoes. Definitely all the Night of Autumns. Enter the God Eternals. Go down... Mostly expensive stuff, I guess. What's bad? Othakai is good. Um, okay. What do we cut? The fairy is kind of meh. Let's go down to fairy. Let's go down Tamio. Let's go down Connive Concoct. Ravager Worm. Expansion Explosion. Bring a Knight of Autumn's Dovin's Vetoes. Do we want a sweeper? Another sweeper. Kaya's Rass probably just better than Time Wipe in this matchup. It's faster, at least. Let's go up to Kaya's Rass and go down... Yeah, let's go down Big Niv. Let's run it like that. Keep Frosca because it kills Frenzy. Okay. Well, we're on the draw against Mono Red, so it should be tough. But taking game one means we got a game three, at least, on the play. Uh, that's a mulligan. Eh, okay. Mana is questionable, although Lantern will help eventually. Opponent. Lava Runner. Well, Breeding Pool tapped. Place a land. Shocks our face. Lights up the stage. Steam can Wizard's Lightning. That's a fast start. Well, Temple Garden tapped. Yeah, we might just be too slow. Opponent's got a fast start this game. Land. A steam kit. Wizard's Lightning. Down to 11. Hits us. We draw. Thought Erasure. Well, yep. This is all we can do. Down to 9. We're probably dead here. Super fast start. Land for our opponent. Lava Runner. And... Lava Runner. And that be lethal. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're on the draw. That's not completely surprising that that would happen. Uh, yeah, run it back. Being on the play should be a pretty huge deal here. Assuming we have a reasonable hand. Let's see what we got for game number three. We well, get to play first. And okay, we'll keep this. Over and tomb tapped. Mountain. 
Opponent passes. Uh, watery Grave tapped. Oath of Kaya and Enter the God Eternals, both very good. We do need this Chromatic Lantern, though. Land for our opponent. Pyromancer. Yep. Down to 16. Well, Land Lantern. Land for our opponent. Legion War Boss. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Opponent gets in, hits us. Down to 13. Well, Steam Vents untapped. Down to 11. Enter the God Eternals. Kill War Boss. Mill our opponent. Go back up to 15. Get a 4 4. That's a swing. That's a swing in our favor. Land for our opponent. Pyromancer. Down to 13. Lava Runner. Opponent. Attacks, attacks. Well, we will block Pyromancer. Down to 12. Wizard's Lightning. How do we do this? All right, I think our plan is... I think we gotta wait. I think we play the land. Oath of Kaya. Kill Lava Runner. Gain some life. Pass the turn. Pyromancer part 10. Yup. Down to 13. Down to 10. Opponent passes. Well, now we Niv. Oh my goodness. Okay. Crossus. Kaya's Wrath. Thought Erasure. Veraska. Justice Strike. So, draw a new hand. Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Pass the turn. Opponent. Combat. Attacks. So we block here, and then Justice Strike here. And a post scoops it up! Woo! Niv comes through against Aggro, take it out, control, take it out, Aggro, and maybe this incredibly janky five-color control Niv deck is somewhat competitive, at least. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, this deck's sweet. Very sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing five-color... Five-color Niv. Five-color Niv control i guess um all right we will keep this it gets to a fast niv man is a little clunky in the early game since we don't have green or black but all right hollowed fountain tapped pass the turn um blood crypt tapped pass the turn um hmm. all right watery grave and chromatic lantern wouldn't be surprised if this got countered. Yeah, all right, resolves. Pass the turn. Well, in theory, this gets us to Niv very quickly. Opponent passing. Dovin's veto sweet. No steam vents tapped. Pass the turn. Our dream world is grow spiral counter big. Huh. All right, it's gone to resolves. We can mortify that. Opponent passes. Well, let's grow spiral. Put a stomping rounds into play. Untap. Hollowed Fountain. Niv. We will Dovin's Veto to resolve this. How many do we draw? Niv comes down. Ugh. Not great. Well, cross it. Only two this time. That's a disappointing Niv. Two isn't great. Is Kanta doing his Kanti things? Although that said, Crosses is pretty sweet. One, two, three, four. We can cast it X six next turn if we want to. And if our opponent plays, okay, to ferry, they probably have to tick down on Niv. Okay, that works. Because then Oath of Kaya, ooh, and Teferi Time Raveler. So we get to Teferi Time Raveler. 
bounces Kanta. Oath of Kaya. Kill to Fairy. Steam Vents. And we have Niv coming back next turn if we want it. Land for our opponent. As Kanta returns. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Uh, let's Niv again. Niv, how many do we get this time? Oh, that is better. Oh, my God, that is absurd. Simic, one. Golgari, two. Rakdos, three. Is it four? Demir, five. Time wipe, six. <laughs> oh, the best Niv yet. That's a draw six. That's a draw six. Tick it up. Um, we will... Let's just mortify his Kanta. Discard, oh my god. Uh, Ravager Worm, I guess, and Time Wipe? Oh, whoa! That was the Niv of Niv. <laughs> Bonus scoops it up! <laughs> Cannot beat the Niv of Nivs. I mean, not quite 10 cards, but 6 cards is insane. That is, I think, the best I've ever hit is... <laughs> Is <laughs> hitting Oh god Is hitting 6 with Niv That's in, that's absurd That is absurd A 5 mana 6-6 six, six flyer that draws 6 when it comes into play That's that's like Grizzlebrand We're getting in Grizzlebrand territory <laughs> oh, Alright So Vito's in Big Teferi in Unward Ego's in Assassin Trophy in Spyglass is in Go down Justice Strike Go down Night of Autumn. Go down Oath of Kaya. Go down Hostage Taker. Go down Time Wipe. Enter the God Eternals. Connive Concoct Ravager Worm. And we got to cut one more of something. I don't know what that something is, though. All of our other cards seem good against control. Good, fine, good. Good, Niv. Good, good. I guess we can go down Mortify. All right, we'll come Mortify. That is one of our answers to is Kanta, but I guess we have enough other stuff going on. And actually, this deck, I feel like we can just overwhelm as Kanta in some games. Like we just can generate so much value that it doesn't really matter. Like, sure, draw a card a turn. We'll draw six with our six six. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. That's the cutest Kanta. <laughs> Getting your canisters in sights and your <laughs> and your Dovin's vetoes. Cute. Ew. Well, now Niv is sticking it to us with this one lander. All right, we'll keep this. Definitely keep Gateway Plaza. Unless he has okay. We have some good stuff. I mean, I guess all of our cards are decent. That's one thing I like about this deck. We have, like, just so many good cards in these control matchups. And we have a lot of removal for the not control matchups. We just have... We get to play a lot of powerful cards in this deck. All right. Drown Catacombs. Well, Gateway Plaza. Pay. Opponent. Thief of Sanity. Well, that's an issue. We don't actually have a removal spell for that. Okay, we're taking FIFA Sanity. We're milling Dovin's Veto, so our opponent... I mean, I guess it doesn't... Ugh. All right. They might have got us here. We don't have any early game removal. Opponent. We have plenty in our deck. We just don't have it in our hand, and our opponent has double Dovin's Veto if we ever draw it. So I think we might have just got janked out by FIFA Sanity. Spyglass doesn't do much, so sure, land, pass the turn. Actually, I think we might just, I think we're actually conceding here. Yeah. With two Dovin's Vetoes, there's no way we're going to draw answers in time, and I don't want our opponent to see our entire deck and what we sideboarded in, so I feel like it's better to just do that. So we have one, two, three, four, kind of five, yeah. We have enough removal. We just did not have it in that hand. We get to be on the play for game three, which is nice. Well, that was a quick one. We get to play first. All right. This is a keeper. A little bit slower than we'd like because we got a ruptured spire on turn two, but... Opponent, tap land. Well, a ruptured spire. 
to get our blue manas. Opponent. Untap land. Passes. Hmm. Awkward. Awkward, awkward. Well, stopping rounds tapped. I think we just pass. Land. Thief of Sanity. Well, grow spiral. Land into play tapped. Come on, land for Niv, please. Alright. Niv. So. Golgari. Is it. Demir Azurius? That'll do. Uh, discard A. Yeah, let's go Sorcerer Spyglass. All right. Well, if they can kill Nib, they can get in a hit with Thief of Sanity. Although, there's a good chance we then can get rid of Thief of Sanity if they're spending their removal to kill Nib. Opponent passing. Hmm. All right, so let's... Our man is still a little weird. Let's play... Chromatic Lantern. Opponent counters. Alright. Um, no attacks. Pass the turn. They don't know about Ardovan's veto. Untap land. Thief of Sanity number two. Opponent passes. So awkward. A play to Fairy. Another Dovin's veto. Oh, this is this is actually bad news. We might be in trouble. We might be in trouble here. Not hitting our lands. Opponent untap land. This this is probably the death of us. Oh, we got down our Niv, but we have not found another land, and we got our Chromatic Lantern encountered. The Niv was good, but the rest of everything has been bad. Opponent, yeah, we needed that Chromatic Lantern desperately. And our opponent also had dub double veto in hand, and we haven't had the mana to leave up our counter. So if they kill the Niv here, then they can get in. Yeah, there, there it is. Oh boy, and that is the end. We needed, we needed to hit a land or resolve that lantern. Now our opponent gets to steal two cards from our deck, which almost assuredly means we can't get back in this game. Yep, yep. Steals all of our cards, passes. We do not draw land. Well, I mean, play a Niv. That's all we can do. Not that it matters. Draw three. Yeah, the lack of lands are the death of us here. Uh, disappointing. Disappointing way for this to go. Expansion, explosion, grow spiral, thought erasure. Yeah. All right. Well, we gave it a good run, but our mana, that is one of the risks of this deck. Our mana cannot work out sometimes. And this is just one of those games. And our opponent, in defense, I feel like this is a really good matchup for us. Our opponent has had double Thief of Sanity draws in games two and three after getting crushed in game one, which is, that's just a, a little bit absurd. Opponent gets in with, well, we get rid of one Thief of Sanity, just smashes it into the Niv. Mills some more of our cards. So opponent has a pretty full hand at this point, and we still can't cast multiple things at this point. Did we put like a million lands to the bottom? I guess they get shuffled. Oh, they just... <laughs> Pona's just Thief of Sanity Tribal. Well, that is a land. But we still only have one blue mana, which is quite the pinch. And yeah, land tapped. Pass the turn. I mean, I guess this is our best bet with only having one blue source at the moment. Assassin's Trophy. That's one of our cards. Well, we will veto. Opponent untaps. So there goes our one blue source. Attacks, we block. I mean, I guess we're slowly whittling down these Thief of Sanities. <laughs> Somehow. Like, the old-fashioned way of just blocking with Niv. Ooh, opponent's actually making some decision. Mills a Tamio and a land, another blue source. Ugh. Untap land for our opponent. Lots of our cards in hand. Manually tapping. A Niv. 
All right, so opponent gets a Thought Erasure and a Teferi. I'm actually not sure we can beat this. Definitely not with one blue source. We need to be able to do a thing and leave up a counter spell, which requires drawing another blue source here. Or maybe our opponent just times out trying to decide what cards to take. That, that's another option. Oh, they got three. All right. Mortify, Big Teferi, Thought Erasure. Uh, that's a blue source, but not until next turn. And I think that does it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Thought Erasure. Didn't hit the second blue in time. Take Teferi. All right. Yeah, that does it. Well, I mean, that is a risk. We are playing five colors. You can see the absurd power of the deck, but you can also see sometimes we just don't draw our colors right. And Chromatic Lantern is our savior, but uh, it got countered that game, and that was it. Also, Pony drew an absurd amount of Thief of Sanities, which is maybe their only good card in the matchup, so that was rough. All right, against the odds time, we are playing some Niv. Five color Niv in standard, and all right, we're on the draw. We need to hit another land, but all right, over on Doom tapped. This hand's not bad though in most matchups. Ooh, mono green, interesting. We do need a land. That's our biggest draw. Gateway Plaza. Yup, tapped. Well, let's see what our opponent has here. Oh, opponent passes. Well, that's Thought Erasure. Whew. That hand is full of good but expensive cards. Eh, take Assassin's Trophy. Mill a non-land. So opponent needs multiple lands to really do anything. Opponent passes. Ooh, we hit a land. All right, play a land. Play... Chromatic Lantern. Pass the turn. Opponent passes. Okay, well, I mean... Uh, time has come. Niv. On time. Ahead of schedule, actually. Huh! Simic. Boros. Demir. Four, five, uh, five? Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll draw five. How about we draw five? We have to discard three, but we discard Justice Strike. We discard Oath of Kaya. And we discard, I guess, Grow Spiral. All right. I think we're in good shape. <laughs> Ponet not eating their land drops Does not have a chance in the world of Nivs And says goodbye Alright, that was good Okay, opponent Saltai, I guess Some sort of big Saltai deck Huh We saw lots of removal Biogenic Ooze Liliana Let's go down Night of Autumn for a Dovin's Veto Go down Can I... Concoct for a Kaya's Wrath. And do we want the Beacon Bolt? Maybe the Assassin's Trophy? Let's go down Oath of Kaya for the Beacon Bolt. And all right, let's try it like that until we see more of our opponent's deck. I don't know how Planeswalker heavy they are. That's the hard part. All right, opponent, let's see it. Ooh, okay. This hand's sweet. We don't have a Niv, but it's a sweet hand. Opponent leads on a Llanowar Elf. Well, Blood Grip tapped. Pwned it. Gets in with Llanowar. Sure. Watery Grave. Passes. What do we want to do here? Yeah, let's just Gateway Plaza. That's fine. Get the land out of our hand. Pass the turn. It is a clunky land, but it is also necessary for us to cast our spells. Tap land for our opponent. Gets in. Hits us. One, two, three. So they could be playing a Planeswalker this turn. Well, let's Breeding Pool untapped. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Grow Spiral. Okay, opponent counters. That's pretty fine. We can deal with that. Opponent draws. We're going to grow spiral land into play kill Llanowar Elves, but this is still fine. 
Next turn, we can Thought Erasure, maybe Justice Strike, depending on our opponent's hand. Opponent gets in with Llanowar, hits us. Down to 15, passes. Uh, yeah, so now we will Thought Erasure our opponent. Crosses, crosses, Carnage Tyrant, negate. Hostage Taker. Good God. Hmm. Well, let's take Hostage Taker. Meh. Hmm. I guess we keep Crosses. Godless Shrine, untapped. Just to strike the land of war. And now our opponent's back to being pretty far away from doing anything. Finds a land. Are we gonna have a mini mini crosses? A mini craw? Well, looks like a mini craw. Well, let's play a slightly less mini craw. Pass the dirt. Land for our ibutit. Branch Walker goes exploring. Hits a land. Okay. Passes. Ooh, Thought Erasure. Well, play Chromatic Lantern. Copy the negate. Target the negate. Resolve the lantern, pass the turn. We do have this Kaya's Wrath in hand, which is good. Next turn, we can, like, Thought Erasure and Kaya's Wrath the board. We've also gotten through two negates, which is good. Whoo, Carnage Tyrant. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. That's perfect. Opponent passes. So now we Thought Erasure our opponent. Well, they have two crosses. Take a crosses. Mill the land. Well, that's a little disappointing. Go to combat. Attack with crosses. Opponent takes it. Well, let's Kaya's Wrath. Play a land. We need a Niv! We need a Niv to refuel. I guess the good news is if they cast this crosses, we do get to just kill it with Ravager Worm. So opponent casts it, draws two, gains life, passes. Well, play Ravager Worm. Haste. Fight crosses. Go attacking. Land go. Niv! We need a Niv! Opponent's got four cards in hand. We have zero. We need a Niv. J Light Ranger goes exploring. Two lands. Jade Light Ranger goes exploring. Vivian. Vivian. Come on, Dak. Plays a land. Mm. Alright. Fizzling. We're fizzling. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Goes attacking. I mean, we are going to block. I don't know what this trick is, but sure. Ooh, Teferi. Well... Play to Fury. Sorry, I'm late. Bounce Ravager Word. Might be a bad idea. Play a land. Replay Ravager Word. Put a counter on it. Fight Jade Light. <laughs> Pass the turn. We still really want a Niv. We don't even have one in our graveyard. We just haven't found one yet. Opponent's trying to figure out if they play Vivian. Alright, Assassin's Trophy. I don't think we have a basic left. We do not. Okay. And there's a Vivian. This is not Blows up Lantern. Alright. Well, play Tamio. Take down Tamio. For Crossus. Take up to fairy. Play the land. Pass the turn. Next turn we can cast a big craw. What do you got about it? No one knows the wilds like I do. Takes up Vivian. 
Finds Biogenic Use. All right, that's a real card. Untap Land. Ooh. So he can play an ooze and make a token? That's pretty good. Oh, they just have a huge crosses. That's also pretty good. Oh, well, okay. Let's do that. Let's Veraska blow up crosses. Take up Teferi. Take up Tamio. Name Niv Mizzet Reborn. We get a Niv Mizzet Reborn. But we can't cast it this turn. All right, pass the turn. All right, opponent. You got more cards than us, but we have a lot of Planeswalkers. Opponent. We can also use Tamio to get back something from our graveyard, like if we need this Kaya's Wrath again. It would mean cashing in our Tamio, but takes up Vivian. We do need to get rid of this Vivian eventually. That is the biggest annoyance at the moment. Opponent gets an island. There's the ooze. Yup. Makes a token. Opponent. Passing? Alright, passing grows the ooze. That's fine. Ooh, and Assassin's Trophy. So I think what we do is... Tamio. Get back Kaya's Wrath. Kaya's Wrath, blow up the board. Assassin's Trophy, get rid of Vivian. Every defeat is a new beginning. Opponent gets a land. Well, take up Veraska, make a pirate. Take up Teferi. Pass the turn, and we got two haymakers left over in hand. Pony has a big handful of cards, but we are going to draw a bunch of cards shortly. Land for our opponent. They got to be about out of crosses, right? It seems like we've gotten through a mil Well, they are out. Unless they, until they can get one back from the graveyard. That is all for, all four crosses is done. That's a big deal. What do you got, opponent? Can you kill our planeswalkers? Can you do things? Our opponent knows our hand is to absurd flyers. Enter the God Eternals. All right. Kills our token. Mills us. I guess they're trying to mill us out, mostly. We're down to 29 cards. And our Tamio's gone. And we have a million Nivs left in our deck. All right. Veraska's Contempt deals with Veraska. Ironically. Opponent passes. Ooh, that's not bad. So let's... Teferi, bounce the zombie, draw a card. Red, white, green, blue, black, Niv. Simic Azorius is it, okay. Blue, black, thought erasure. Take disdainful stroke. Mill the land. And I think we might have just ran him out. I think we might have ran through it. Pony cast a million crosses too, and still, Niv coming through in the end. Opponent knows our hand. That's one of the downsides of this deck. Our opponent just always knows our hand. But it makes it even more hilarious that our opponent can usually not beat our hand. Like, they can literally see every card that we're working with, and they still can't beat it. <laughs> just the raw power. The raw power. Opponent's passing. All right. Uh, I guess we should have grow spiraled, but that's fine. Go to combat. Get in with Niv. Hit our opponent. Take up to Fairy. Steam vents tapped. And yeah, we're not even going to cross this here. We're just going to play play it safe. Leave up instant speed beacon bolt. And opponent scoops it up and whoo, that is sweet. That is <laughs> hilariously sweet. Oh, this deck. This deck is a blast. It's so much fun. Huh, Niv. Niv is awesome. All right. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Sweet. All right. Uh, Against the odds time, we are niving it up in War of the Spark Standard. Five color Niv. <laughs> and, well, that is five colors in Niv. We will keep it.
Water grave for our opponent. Well, over on Doom tapped. Pass the turn. Dragon Skull Summit and Thought Erasure. All right. So Grixis control by the Lux. Takes Niv. Interesting. I'll play Breeding Pool. Untap. Thought Erasure our opponent. Hmm. That's a lot of good cards. That we don't really have answers for at the moment. Man, yeah, let's take Narset. Definitely keeping Thought Erasure Part 2. Opponent untaps, draws, land, passes. Well, Temple Garden untapped. Grow Spiral. Into Hollowed Fountain, untapped. Into Thought Erasure again. Take Dragon God. Um, Dovin's Veto. Uh, okay. Opponent untaps, draws. Land. Nicole Bolas. El Ravija. Um, we will discard Gateway Plaza. Oh! Okay. That's a little annoying. We don't actually have Bedevil mana. Steam Vents tap, pass the turn. Ah, uh, that's a bit of a mistake. I just assumed we had Bedevil mana, but we don't. Down to 10. Opponent passes. Well, we do have Niv mana. Breeze Alps. Hostage Taker, Expansion Explosion, Grow Spiral. We're kind of in fragile shape, actually, because, because of this mana situation. We have all five colors, but we don't have double black. And this Nicole Bolas Egypt is a fast clock. Bounces our Niv. Untaps, draws. Gets in, hits us. Thought Erasure. Well, we need a black source to kill this Nicole Bolas. Oh, takes Bedevil. Interesting. Yeah. We Niv. That's not bad. Crossus, Mortify, Teferi, Enter the God Eternals. Those are good cards. Steam on stat, pass the turn. Uh, we will discard a expansion explosion. Opponent, untaps. Can we stabilize? Hostage taker. Yup. Snags our Niv. Goes to combat, gets in, hits us. Down to two. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's probably our best bet. Time wipe, clear the board, get back Niv. Thought Erasure. Angrass Rampage. I guess we take them all. We're going to have to discard a lot to hand size. So we will discard Hostage Taker, Grow Spiral, Thought Erasure, and Teferi. Opponent untaps. Land untapped. Kills or Niv. Yep. That's fine. Passes. Actually. Let's just, let's play this safe. Let's, Knight of Autumn. Gain four. Pass the turn. Boy, we got pretty far behind pretty quick, but Niv is a catch-up mechanism and a half. Our hand is stacked. Like, maybe unbeatable. Okay. That's good enough to counter. Opponent untaps. Well, let's cross this. See if we can hit some lands. Cross this for four. No lands. Get into a Knight of Autumn. Hit our opponent. Discard a Justice Strike. All right, Nicole Bolas again. We will discard Gross Pyro. Opponent passes. I'll play the land. 
Blue. Oh, we only have one black. Blue, blue, black. Blue. Uh, all right, let's do it like this. Enter the God Eternals. Kill Nicole Bolas and mill our opponent. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent, and the corner has been turned. It took like three nibs, but I think that might be enough. Opponent untap straws. Phasing down a big board. And land tapped passes. All right, grow spiral. Land into play tapped. Untap, draw, land, combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Tamio. Take down Tamio. Take Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure our opponent. It's just a land. We will keep Connive Concoct. Land tapped. Pass the turn. And feels like game to me. What a comeback for Niv! Potus scoops it up! Who? Okay! <laughs> this deck is so sweet! Niv is absolutely busted. It is a broken magic card. It is so good! Okay. Okay, what are we doing? Pona's playing Grixis Control, so Assassin's Trophy in. Sorceress Spyglass is probably in. Teferi in. Unmoored Ego in. Dovin's Vetoes in. Something like this. Go down. Knight of Autumn. Go down Oath of Kaya. Go down Hostage Taker. Go down Ravager Worm. Um. Time wipe and hmm, what's our last cut? We need to cut one more of something. This deck is ridiculous, but it's actually kind of working. Well, oh, maybe we can cut Justice Strike. All right, try it like that. Hopefully, we still have enough removal to not get got by Thief of Sanity, which is always a concern. All right, opponents on the play. Can we nib him again? Oh, nib is insane. <laughs> Ooh, boy. All right, this is a mall. Ooh. All right, we'll keep. Gateway Plaza is helpful. So I'm for our opponent. Duress. We are going to need to draw some lands. Many, many lands. Take Spyglass. Well, Temple Garden tapped. Opponent. Drown Catacombs and Soul Diviner. Well, Gateway Plaza. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent, Narset. Parter of Veils. And opponent's drawing some cards. Gets a, another Narset. Just keeps coming. Opponent. Passing. Hmm. Well, Steam Vents. Untapped. Thought Erasure. Well, opponent doesn't have much in hand. Thought Erasure... Let's mill the second one. All right, we'll see. I mean, there is a Narset. Opponent draws with Narset in Soul Diviner. Untaps. Cashes in Narset. So cards are being drawn. Plays a land. Gets in. Hits us. I'll play Ruptured Spire. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Can we get down a Niv? That's a question. Land for our opponent, untapped. Sarkin the Masterless. Well, we're gonna get down a Niv. Opponent makes a dragon. Okay. Your end has arrived. Combat. Passes, well. Assassin's Trophy. Get rid of Sarkin. Well, we need a good Niv. Opponent gets to draw a card with Soul Diviner. Soul Diviner's been good for our opponent. Gets a land. Well, we untap. We play an island. We play a Niv. How many cards do we get? All right. Only three, but they are pretty impactful. Vito Veraska Crosses. 
there's a dragon god. Kills our Niv. Goes attacking, hits us. Taplan. Passes. I'll play Gateway Plaza. Pay. Assassin's Trophy, Nicole Bolas. Opponent draws a card. Yep. Ah, this is a big turn cycle. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Hits us. Down to six. Land passes. Well, this is all we can really do. Crosses, draw a couple cards. Ugh, whiff on lands. All right, pass the turn. That's not comforting. Opponent, well, cross is alive for now. Thought erasure. Takes Tamio. Mills a land. Well, we will make this trade in an instant. Block the dragon. Trade it off. What else does our opponent have? Tap land passes. Hmm. Well, play Chromatic Lantern. Pass the turn. We can stop spells. Like that. Counter Thought Erasure. Opponent combat attacks. Hits us. Land. Passes. Well, play Niv. See what we can find. Ooh. All right. Simic Demir Azurius. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Veto at the ready. Are we going to win this again? Is Niv going to come back again against Grixis Control? Opponent. Angrass Rampage. Um. Okay. Combat. Attacks. Hits us. Four. Well, let's grow Spiral. Untap. Let's Thought Erasure. Take Veraska's Contempt. Mortify to the Graveyard. Let's go for it. Hollowed Fountain, untapped to two. Veraska. Get rid of Soul Diviner. Shields are down, but if we untap here, we should be able to parlay this to a win. What does our opponent draw? One draw step, opponent. One draw step is all you get. Land. Passes. Okay. Take up Veraska. Make a dork. Um, and yeah, let's let's play it safe. Let's just pass. We got two Dovin vetoes. No reason to be risky here, opponent. Passing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's explosion for three. And leave up counter mana. Draw three. Untap. I, they shouldn't have a random burn spell, but I don't want to lose to a random burn spell. Play a stomping grounds tapped. Another chromatic lantern. Thought Erasure, our opponent. Take Thought Erasure. Mill the land. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. Pass the turn. The Niv comeback. This deck is great. What do you got, opponent? Nicole Bolas. Eleanor Vigier. Sure. We will discard a Grow Spiral. We will Bedevil Nicole Bolas. Yup, 
That resolves. Game? Opponent plays the land, passes. Well, that's another Niv. Let's Niv it. Um, take Teferi Knive Concoct. Take up Veraska. Combat, attack, hit our opponent. Not go with shields down. We are not. Pass the turn, and I think we got him. That's lethal on board with double counter in hand. Pwn it. Can't beat the Niv. That's the GG's. And the power of the Niv. Untap, combat, attack. And Niv is officially insane. It is so good. All right. Uh, yeah. Impressive. Impressive Niving. So what do we learn this week about Niv Mizzet Reborn in War of the Spark Standard? And the deck was legitimately awesome, and Niv Mizzet was also legitimately awesome. So we played five matches, we won four of them, dropping a single match to Esper Control, which I think that's actually a really favorable matchup. Pony just drew an insane amount of Thief of Sanities. Uh, so the deck functioned well. There was one other match where I conceded it was another Esper Control match, and we had played a lot of Control this we played Grixis, we played Blue White, we played Esper. So we played so many control matchups that I really just didn't want to show another control matchup. So I scooped it up at game one, figuring we could have more diverse matchups. So that's why uh, if you look at like the ratings on the ladder, they look a little wonky at some points because that concession is built in there and the matches are not in exactly the order I played them. But anyway, uh, the deck was great. We were able to be control, which might not be shocking. Uh, we took down, like I said, Esper and Blue White, Grixis. Uh, so we took down Blue White, we took down Grixis. So that might not be surprising because we have a lot of really powerful card advantage cards, primarily in the Amizit Reboard. More surprising, we took down Mono Red with our eight double tap lands in our big expensive deck, we took down Mono Red pretty easily. Uh, and then we also took down Sultai Midrange, which is kind of in between on the scale. So the fact that we were able to beat aggro, beat midrange, and beat control was pretty impressive. As far as Niv Bizet Reborn itself, Oh my god, in a deck like this that is built around it, that card is absurd. So we never lived the full dream of drawing 10 cards, which is maybe a good thing because we were discarding the hand size a lot, but we drew, I think our best was six cards with Nimbus at Reborn, and we were pretty consistently hitting around four cards. And I gotta say, a 6-6 six, six flyer for five that draws you four cards and it's even better than drawing four cards because they're all real cards. You're not just hitting extra lands or whatever. You're hitting four spells or five spells or six spells. It is really good. I think our worst Niv, maybe we hit two spells a couple of times, which is still fine. It's not exciting. But because our deck has so many weird mana costs and colors and because our cards are just so powerful, it felt like we had answers for everything. We had life gain against Mono Red. We had Planeswalker removal for the control decks. We had card advantage. We had discard. We got everything built into the deck that we're drawing just insane, insanely powerful cards with Nimbus at Reborn. And I gotta say, my favorite part of this deck is because Nimbus at Reborn reveals all the cards, our opponent most of the time would know our hand. They would know every card in our hand, and it didn't matter. Like they would know, okay, there's counters, there's removal, there's whatever, and they still could beat us. It was essentially like we were playing with our hand face up on the table with our opponent having full knowledge of everything that was going on and we were still able to just beat them because our deck was so much more powerful than their deck so i love this deck and it was way better than i thought it would be yes the mana base can sometimes be a problem that is a concern we lost a game because chromatic lantern got countered and we only had one blue source uh, against our esper control or one loss out of our matches so that is something that can happen against mono red our lands are slow and that is a concern although we beat them so apparently it's not too big of an issue so all in all Niv was great. This deck was great. It was super fun to play. Niv was crazy. I just, I loved everything about this deck. It was so cool and so much fun to play. So if you want to refill your hand with a 6-6 six, six fire for five, which is just, it's insane. It's so good. Uh, it seems like a good way to do it. So anyway, that's been our Gets Odds for this week. Niv Mizzet Reborn for War of the Spark Standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy the video and I will talk to you soon.
Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.